Good evening. Hey, this is a church. Good evening. Good evening. All right, there you go. That's great. Here we are in this beautiful space, and we are expecting uplifting music. It's also a sacred space, and so I'd like to share these words with you from the Hebrew Scriptures. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. All people may take refuge in it, and I pray that you'll have a sense of God's love tonight. Feasting on abundance in your house, drinking from the river of your delights, for with you, God, is the fountain of life. Wait for it. And in your light, we see light. That's from the Psalms. I'm Pastor Greg Flack. I want to welcome you here tonight. It is so great to have you all here. Welcome to you also if you are with us remotely, especially if you're sitting in Colorado. It would be, would be great for you to be seeing this. Um, <laughs> And uh, you know that this is Illuminare tonight. Illuminare, the final concert in Lake Grove's concert series for this year. Delighted to have you all with us. Illuminare, of course, means something like to brighten, to light up. And tonight, the music will be that which lights us up. It's going to be beautiful. But first, let me connect the theme of light to the free will offering that's mentioned there on your folder, your program, the cover there, it says a benefit concert for the Beersheba school. Beersheba. It's a place in the Bible, but it's also an oasis community in the desert of Senegal, Africa. We've had a, con a connection there for a long time. They have a growing school there that needs a new classroom, and we are trying to help them. And guess what the name of the school is? It's the Torchbearers School. They carry light there, the light of knowledge, the light of faith, and they share it with poor kids living in the desert. We need about $4,000 more to build that classroom. It's a large classroom. Then we need another 5000 to put furniture and books and all that stuff into it. I'll bet there's someone sitting here right now who could do that single-handedly. But all of us together should certainly be able to manage that. See, this is the choir's project for our centennial year here at Lake Grove. We're in our 100th year. This is their project. You can help put them over the top. So look when you leave. We're not going to pass the plate or anything. But when you leave, there will be baskets out here in the narthex and in the gathering area. And if you'd like to help build that school for those needy kids, you can do it tonight. If you didn't bring any money with you, send a check this week or ask somebody and they'll tell you how to do it online. And thank you in advance. A couple other things. I was supposed to tell you to squeeze toward the middle, but I think that's hopeless. I do want to tell you that the concert will last about an hour, and afterwards there's a reception, and the reception is um, uh, not only things to drink, but cookies from the countries of the composers in the concert tonight. So that'll be fun. And you can interact with the musicians afterwards. That'll be a great thing. You can also sign up for a, an email notices of our concert series in the, in the future, and if you do that, You'll get a free CD from a previous concert. And that's enough talk, don't you think? On with the concert, on with the music. Thanks again for being here. And now, one hint for you. Uh, I invite you to see in the first piece here. See if you can hear the sun rising in that piece which is called Sanctus. Thanks again for being here.
with us today. Haydn's Sixth Symphony was the first major work he composed after joining the Esterhazy Court. He seemed to take this opportunity to try out his new orchestra by spreading virtuosic writing around to all the players. The first movement, which is what we'll perform tonight, quickly earned the nickname The Morning, and I think it will be clear why as you hear the musical Sunrise performed tonight. We'll follow this up with two shorter works. The first, Lux Beata Trinitas, is a peaceful prayer of light featuring a beautiful solo melody played by the oboe and underscored by long sustained chords by the choir. We then will give almost everyone a break and feature a piece for piccolo, violin, and piano by German organist and composer Hans Andre Stamm. Like many of his works, this musical depiction of a sunlit morning takes influence from folk music and dance rhythms. I'll challenge you to try to sit still during that one.
It's my privilege. Is it on? It's my privilege to say a few words of introduction about the song that you're about to hear named Illuminare. And as you can guess from the title, it revolves around the theme of light. In each of the five movements that comprise this work, uh, the composer Elaine Hagenberg drew inspiration from excerpts from five ancient Christian uh, writers whose uh, combined thoughts tell a story. In the first piece, aptly named Splendor, it bursts forth with the luminous glory of God, the light of life which gives all of light to the world and, and from which all light derives. St. Ambrose, who penned the text of Splendor that brings forth light from light, light of light, very likely, I believe, borrowed the language of one of our main creeds of, of the church, the Nicene Creed, which was just formulated a few years before he was born. The Nicene Creed talks about Jesus as the light of life, the true God of true God. Centered around a text by Hildegard of Bingham from the 12th century, our second piece, Caritas, portrays the splendorous glory of God manifested as love in all and through all. And this quite possibly came to her as an inspiration when she had a vision where she saw a great cloud of light and heard a voice saying, God hugs you. You are encircled by the arms of the mystery of God. The third piece, Knox, translated into English as night, derives from a text from a fourth century Christian uh, uh, sp the, speaker. <laughs> um, and it starts with a slow, solemn plea for mercy. Kyrie eleison, Lord have mercy. And then suddenly it strikes a jarring percussive tone followed by an eerie interplay of vocal parts that combine to puncture our sense of calm and express the stark experience of darkness, turmoil, and confusion that often seem to enshroud our earth and obscure the light. The fourth piece, Munera Pachis, Give Us Peace, is taken from the text by the sixth century figure, Saint Gregory, and in it you can begin to hear the glimmers of hope as the dark shadows and gloom recede, giving way to the, the light of dawn breaking in. And at the same time, we are prodded to, to confess our complicity in that darkness and guilt and plead desperately for the God of compassion to heal us and give us peace. And listen, as you hear at the end, how those heartfelt uh, pleas for peace are answered by the Prince of Peace. In this movement, in this performance, the solo will be sung by Milos Thorningale. Miles Thorningale. The final movement, Illuminare, is drawn from Zechariah's prophetic song in Luke chapter 1, verses 78 and 79. It triumphantly points to the rising sun, the light of the world himself, who comes down from heaven to shine upon all who live in darkness, sh banishing all dread of, of death and guiding us towards peace. To get the full experience of the full magnitude of this piece, we would ask that you hold your applause until the very end. We hope you enjoy this Oregon premiere of this magnificent piece.
my peace I give.